Incoming transmission. Hey folks, Irish Trekkie, back another Battlestar Galactica, the official ship's collection review from our friends over at Hero Collector. This time we are featuring the Heavy Raider. So this is one of the big beasties from the Cylons and uh, not the first Cylon ship that we've reviewed. This is issue number 19. Uh, so do check out the description box for all of the lovely Cylon goodness. And if you're more of a colonial fan, plenty of ships and uh, land vehicles that we've seen there as well. So, uh, yeah, this is a pretty big box. Looking forward to getting uh, in and checking out the Heavy Raider and uh, checking out the company magazine, which we will do for you. And uh, before that, I want to say thanks to Hero Collector sending this over. It gives me an opportunity to do a review for you fine folks. But remember, my thoughts and opinions remain my own. And uh, again, this is only possible because of your support as well. So thank you very, very much. And uh, without much fuss, we're going to be checking out the model, checking out the magazine. But let's just do a first impressions unbox here, shall we? And check her out. Here's our magazine. Heavy Raider. I'll put you to one side. There she be. Ooh. Oh my. Uh, so we have our base. Cradle, great opportunity to put that in there. So it looks like it's going to match the curvature of the the bottom of it. I think that will be the the way that it'll go there as well. But we we'll put that to one side. And what's our first reactions to it? Ooh, she's heavy. Diecast, plastic on the kind of lateral details here, and some of the kind of finer details. Ooh, it's impressive. Nice metallic finish to it, and uh, a lot of uh, fine detailing on this. So, uh, yeah, let's get up close and personal with the Heavy Raider, shall we? And then we'll have a look at the magazine. So here we go. So you can see that there's a lot of sculpt detailing in here. It's not hugely exciting on the paint front. It is and it isn't, because, again, it's not going to be a versatile paint job because of the metallic finish. However, it is accented with some very delicate paint detailing and paint applications and again just varying degrees of tonality on the paint apps we do get a little bit of blue on some of those um sublight engines and again the weapon array as well formidable we do actually get a little bit of a red dot i wish there was a little bit of black in there for where the eyepiece is That is very cool. Looking at the sculpt, as you can see, there's a lot of detailing on those aft pods. And we have our ramp and our exhausts. Ventral section is all the same as well. Some nice detailing over here. That's a really nice. The seams are hidden very well. And this is where we're gonna see that mount going on place as well that's a really interesting ship and you know it's just so creepy that you have the kind of centurion head just sitting there but uh yeah they've done a great job on the paint app you know you do get that kind of metallic sheen but there's a little bit of kind of depth and darkness to certain areas to kind of draw your attention to some of the the finer detail and, uh, you know, it translated very well. The alignment on the weapons are all good. A lot of prong details at the aft of the ship. And smooth details going through the ventral side and a lot of the kind of vents and stuff like that for, like, VTOL. That's cool. Very curious to know what you folks think. Your mount, if I can just get that. That just sits right on the belly and again balances it. Let me just put that down there for one second. Yeah, that, that just fits in. It finds its home very well and is very secured. Cool. So yeah, 
let's check out some of the magazine and we'll do a little bit of a wrap up for the end of thoughts as well actually just before we do just checking out those mod those engines they're pretty awesome they're almost kind of like blackbird or classic jet cones that's sweet and the greebling as well so cool yeah aggressive foreboding and very capable Cylon Heavy Raider. So issue 19, we have the Cylon Heavy Raider. So let's check out kind of what fun and lore we're going to find in here. So we have our design spec, we have our ship profile, we have behind the scenes, and uh, the, again, we're going to have some information on the civilian ships. This is a military type craft, multi-purpose strike ship, two by tri-barreled kinetic energy uh, weapons and missiles. And this is 10 meters in approximate length. And uh, again, we have that creepy old Cylon head in there as well, for good measure. Um, I always liked what they did with the Cylon, the craft, the Raiders, that like they actually turned them into actual Cylons themselves as well. Even though the classic Raiders were pretty awesome too. So the heavy Raider, bristling with armaments and designed to deploy Centurions into ground assaults, the heavy Raider played a key role in the Cylon military campaigns. So yes, it has durability, speed, and powerful weaponry. All a must in a versatile military craft for sure. So when the Cylons ended the 40 year long armistice with the nuclear assault on the 12 colonies, their upgraded fleet of semi-sentient biomechanical raiders included a new class of spacecraft, the dual role attack heavy transport vehicle. The FTL equipped heavy raider was autonomous and could also be piloted by a crew of centurions or humanoid models. Very interesting. And we did see this actually a fair bit as well. And all this kind of goopy glory in the inside. As well as uh, some various shots here as you can see it. And uh, actually was part of some very interesting episodes as well. The mission to Cobol. So here we have our ship spec as well. So we have our wing pods. Lateral sublight engines. We have the FTL dorsal uh, array. And then we have other engines in the center part of it too. We have our tri-barrel kinetic energy, weapon scanners, missile launchers. And again, because it's a multi-purpose role, you have an after ramp here as well. And again, making the jump. When the television series comes to an end of its run, the show's family of actors and production crew take a new role, take on new roles and challenges into their ongoing and evolving careers. So yeah, you know, like, they all become family, for sure. You see it time and time again. And some pretty good stuff there. And they all went on to do some really cool stuff. And we continue to see some awesome projects that they're all involved in as well. Even Ron. I love um, For All Mankind. Doing a great job over there. Uh, civilian ships. We have the Rising Star. That sleek, awesome ship. We have the... Well, that's f Flat Top. I thought that I think that I thought that was actually called the flat top, but anyway, uh, colonial salvage ship and the astral queen. Love that one. Coming up soon, we do have issue twenty, where again we're looking at the heavy raptor. So if we're looking at a heavy, uh, silent heavy raider, we have to look at the heavy raptor as well. But let's close out in some final thoughts, shall we? So folks, uh, let me know what you thought of issue nineteen. We have the Battlestar Galactica Cylon Heavy Raider from our friends over at Hero Collector. Um, very impressive ship. Very sizable ship as well. So um, it's among the bigger ones. You know, it'll stand toe to toe with the size of the Raptors and uh, the Vipers that we've gotten so far as well. But uh, I'm very impressed. And again, great sculpt on it and uh, very nice paint applications on it as well. That's very cool. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it, and uh, yeah, we'll get the conversation going. Um, so we'll kind of we'll wrap it up there for today's video. So thanks for taking the time out of your day to stop by and check out the video. Um, you can support the channel by checking out the description box below, where you'll be able to like and share, and even subscribe if you want to stay up to date with uh, some more videos coming your way. And uh, again, you can become a Patreon supporter as well. Again, the links are down there, and uh, join the Patreon crew. You folks are awesome. And uh, you can also support the channel over on the merch store as well, where you can pick up some Irish Trekkie merch or even just general cool Star Trek sci-fi merchandise as well. Again, all the links will be in the doobly-doo down below. 
But um, as always, thanks for taking the time out of your day to stop by and check out the video. I've been your local Irish Trekkie. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay sane. And I will see you in the next one. So take it easy and goodbye.